here with Rachel Monroe. Welcome to the beautiful Mentone, Alabama. We're here for the Color Fest this time. It has been fantastic. Rachel, we've only been here just a little while, but we were kind of down in the big part of Mentone to begin with, and we were kind of a little disappointed because it's just regularly Mentone. That <laughs> It's beautiful like that all year round, but then we get up here into uh, Brow Park, and it's just gorgeous up here. What's been your favorite part? Um, there are a lot of booths with uh, handmade jewelry in them, and I like the bling. Yeah, I, I can agree with you. There was a little wood cutting board shop I want to go check yes. out here in a little while. It was fantastic. Um, there's there's so much stuff up here. Like, I'm so glad we found the actual color fest <laughs> because what we were seeing to begin with was a little yeah. just regular menton, which is beautiful, but we wanted the actual color fest and it'd be something special. It's fantastic. Come check it out with us. settled here at the Lula Woodworks booth and this is just an amazing little set here we walked up and just the beauty of all this wood that just captured us I mean as you can kind of get a look around at some of the stuff here a lot of a lot of straight lines a lot of really just very contrasting colors here on the wood but one I've settled on here is this one right here don't know how in the world you would make something like this but luckily we have the owner Craig Scrotty here for Lula Woodworks who actually made this piece so uh, get a shot of Craig right here. Craig, how long have you guys been in business? About three years now. So uh, you guys do really do really well. You guys up here every year. This is our first color because we're up here in July. Okay. For July first day. Back next year, we'll Fantastic. Now, give us like a some kind of like a formal of a price range of like what we might be looking at for for maybe something like this. Let's get a shot of this right here. This is beautiful. It was like thirty-two bucks. So I mean, you got. And that's not a bad price for something like this that you want to put in your home, and you could really do anything with it as far as like maybe hang it up for a piece of art. You could probably use it for. Well, it's meant to be a cutting board. Yeah, I was going to say, I mean, I was actually what I was about to say. It could be a cutting board, anything. This is. I would hate to put any kind of slashes on this of any kind. It's gorgeous. Well, we use all hardwoods, man, so it's art you can use. I like it. Well, you heard it here, Lulu Woodworks, art you can use, and it's beautiful to look at as well. Craig, thanks so much. All right, bro. Be good. You guys take care. All right, man, take care. Once again, I'm Jake Harris. We've settled here at the Mad Scientist Lotion Candles booth here, and I uh, actually have Terry Irvine, the owner here. Terry, tell us a little bit about what your product is and what you guys do. Well, it's a candle that has two purposes. It's a, a scented candle that is also a lotion candle. It's made with a cosmetic grade soy wax. It has shea butter in it, coconut oil, sweet almond oil, and golden jojoba oil. Now, you guys make these yourself. Tell us a little bit about what the process is to go through something like this. Well, it's uh, first thing you do when we get the jars is sterilize them all because people are going to use it, you know, with their hands and on their body. So you never know where the jars, you know, they come out of a warehouse. So we sterilize the jars. You put in your wick tabs, get everything set, melt the waxes. Um, I melt the wax and then the shea butter and add the oils. And it's a specific formula that I use to weigh everything out. So it's, they're always the same. It's the exact same candles. Uh, like I just wing it, you know, a little of this, a little of that. So it, it's all weighed out, and then all of our scents are infused with essential oils, so they smell very natural, and the candle will smell good every time you light it. Now, how many different fragrances do you have? How many scents? And stuff we like well, to, we came to the, this weekend with 15 when we started. We've run out of a few. Well, when um, we passed by earlier, you were completely <laughs> loaded, and now it's it's looking very it's, bare. It's getting so very smooth. That's a good sign for business. It's been a good weekend. Um, but we always add new scents. Uh, we actually brought a candy cane, a lime, and a vanilla this weekend, which were three new ones that we're trying. Uh, the lime's gone, the candy cane, we have one left, and the vanillas, we did pretty well with those too, so we'll probably add those to our list. Um, we're always trying new scents, so our literature is not always up to date on, we don't print these cards as often as we make new scents. 
So our Facebook page keeps us safe. Well, give a shout for your Facebook page right there. Maybe people can go online and check you out. Can they order from there as well? Yes, well, we have an online store. It's the Square Up Market. Okay. And it's a bad scientist. Uh, lotion candles at the Square Up Market. Okay. Uh, so you can order from that. That's our online store. And then our Facebook page is just, if you look on Facebook, for the Bad Scientist Lotion Candles. Well, Terry, thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Had a blast, man. Fantastic. All right. Glad you liked the music. Maybe a little something for Rusty, huh? <laughs> I definitely had no clue that this was even up here. I mean, we had the original mental area that we yeah. thought was Color Fest, and we were very low down to begin with. Rachel Monroe for SouthernTorch.com. See you guys.